Greetings to you all. I'm Sister Gardiner from the Student Counseling and Health Department at the Durban University of Technology. To dive right in, today we will be discussing monkeypox. So what is monkeypox? Well, monkeypox is a virus that belongs to a group of virus called the orthopox virus. And why the name monkeypox? Well, monkeypox was first discovered on monkeys in, back in the 1958s in Denmark, hence the name monkeypox. The first human case, however, was discovered in Congo, which is in the African continent, back in the 1970s. This then shows that monkeypox is not something new. However, the cause for concern is due to the human-to-human -human transmission that has upsurged in the recent year in and around endemic areas. And let's get into the seriousness of the situation and why is monkeypox a topic of discussion today. Well, there's been 14,000 confirmed cases in 2022 alone, with Africa claiming five deaths. Most cases have been reported from the European countries, however, more and more countries have been noticing cases of monkeypox. For these reasons that I've just mentioned, the World Health Organization has officially declared monkeypox a global health emergency. And of the 14,000 global cases, Africa claims 2,031 cases and counting. Therefore, it's imperative that we have some basic knowledge on monkeypox. After all, knowledge is power, and the circulation of monkeypox can be eliminated through the classic containment approach. And while we're on the topic of elimination, let's shed some light on how the virus is transmitted. The virus was initially transmitted from rodents and other types of monkeys to human beings via bites, scratches, and uh, inadequately prepared food. However, today we're going to be focusing on human-to-human -human transmission. So how does monkeypox spread from one person to the next person? Monkeypox can be spread through close contact and skin-to-skin -skin, um, contact, through hugging, kissing, cuddling, and even through bodily fluids. Monkeypox is also spread through coming into contact with contaminated beddings, and uh, it's also worth mentioning that monkeypox can be passed from one person to the next person if in close contact, as in face-to-face -face contact with someone for a prolonged period of time, in other words, through respiratory droplets. It is also very important to note that current research has determined that you, one is only considered contagious from the onset of the rash to so the scabbing phase. This then brings us to the signs and symptoms stage. So we have the invasion period, which usually lasts one to five days, where you could typically note that you have um, certain symptoms such as fever, headache, uh, muscle pain, body aches, body malaise, and exhaustion. One way in distinguishing monkeypox from chickenpox and smallpox is lymphadenopathy. So people who have monkeypox will present with swollen lymph nodes. Next, we have the skin eruption phase. During this stage, you will notice that you have a fluid-filled rash. It can occur all over your body. However, there's been trends or patterns with monkeypox that we've noticed that you can have a fluid-filled rash on your face and your extremities. Your extremities being the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. So symptoms last two to four weeks and severe cases usually occur in younger children and individuals that are immune compromised. Speaking of immune compromise in severe cases, let's discuss complications. So some of the complications that one uh, could experience is bronchopneumonia, sepsis, infection of the cornea which could lead to loss of vision. However, this is not a cause for concern because the fatality rate uh, regarding monkeypox is 3% to 6%, which is relatively low. Monkeypox is not as contagious as flu or COVID-19, however it is vital that we take the necessary precautions to stop transmission and to stay healthy. Prevention is always better than cure and with that said, let us discuss how we can go about preventing the spread of monkeypox. Raising awareness is always key in stopping the transmission of any virus. You should also avoid skin-to-skin -skin contact with symptomatic patients or symptomatic people, as well as hand hygiene. Hand hygiene is always crucial, so you should wash your hands with soap and water regularly or hand sanitize. Unfortunately, life happens and we have to be prepared for the worst case scenario. So in a case where I present with monkeypox symptoms, what should I do? So what I would do is, I would go to my healthcare provider, 
and have my health care provider properly diagnose me and give me a treatment plan. Thereafter, it is very important that I isolate. Isolate from any pets and any humans, because remember, animals could also contract the disease. People will probably be curious to know whether there's a vaccine against monkeypox. South Africa does not have a vaccine readily available to the public against monkeypox. However, the World Health Organization is also working on supplying enough diagnostic tests so that we can check uh, positive cases and try to contain the virus. Just to gain some clarity on some of the misconstrued information that's circling, monkeypox is not only found in, in Africa, it's not an African disease. Monkeypox does not discriminate against your um, sex orientation or gender identity and condoms does not protect you against the monkeypox since monkeypox is passed on from skin to skin transmission condoms will be ineffective however we do know that condoms aid in um, preventing many other sexually transmitted infections the greatest medicine of them all is teaching people how not to need it Remember that prevention is better than cure and stay safe. Thank you very much.